Welcome to the stream. I'm Tandy. Today we're going to be playing Autumn Lily's Mardu Sacrifice deck in a league. Uh, this deck is very similar to the Rakdos Sacrifice decks that we've seen in the past, but the white splash is what makes it unique. And what are we splashing white for? Well, Ride of Oblivion, I think, is the main splash card. Uh, for two mana, you basically get an answer to any non land permanent. Uh, it has flashback, which is great. And all you have to do is sacrifice a non land permanent. Um, this deck is great at making artifact tokens, uh, has creatures that it doesn't mind sacrificing, and it often gains a benefit from sacrificing stuff. Uh, whether it's Claim the Firstborn, taking your opponent's creature, or True and Mayhem Devil, there's a lot to love about Ride of Oblivion, and, and, um, and I guess it deserves the slot the other white card we're splashing for is showdown of the scalds this uh, four mana saga lets you exile the top four cards and then until the end of your next turn you may play those cards and then on chapters two and three whenever you cast a spell you can put a counter on uh post a possible counter on target creature you control so this is kind of like a big draw spell for the deck um you know the deck has deadly dispute for card advantage but can run out of food and showdown of the scalds kind of prevents that from happening you're Mana curve is pretty low, so it's great at finding, like, multiple pieces. Uh, sometimes an extra land's not so bad, but the uh, overall, the, the white splash seems pretty sweet, and I think that it's worth trying, and so uh, we're going to be playing Autumn's list through League today. This version was what she played in the PTQ on Sunday and won at the uh, Magic Con Philadelphia, and this was a hard PTQ. This was the pros only ptq so uh it was tough and but ultimately she came out on top now uh the rest of the deck if you don't know what mardu sack or recto sack's all about we got witch's oven this lets you sacrifice any creature we got cauldron familiar this pairs with witch's oven to generate uh essentially infinite chum blockers that drain your opponent for one um we have unlucky witness as a early sacrifice target we have Blood Tithe Harvester as a generically good creature that can make a thing that we want to sacrifice in the blood token. We have Deadly Dispute to sack all that. And we have Fable the Mirror Breaker as our powerful three drop that generates multiple tokens and Mayhem Double. That's the deck. The mana base is pretty straightforward. It's a bunch of Rakdos dual lands. Uh, and, and uh, or sorry, Mardu dual lands. Black, white, and black, red, and red, white. Um, sideboard, a couple of Mihook Masker. This is going to be your sweeper of choice for... Most of those creature decks you're going to face off against. Uh, the fact that it triggers a bunch from sacking stuff to drain your opponent for even more is awesome. Uh, the go blanks are going to help out against things uh, that use the graveyard. Uh, the discard two is okay, but the anti graveyard part is the the real winner here. Uh, two more thoughts used to go with the pair in the main deck. Two duress when you really need to hit your opponent with extra discard. Another fatal push to help out when we need more removal. Two Vanishing Verse, which are excellent for removing things like Rest in Peace, which shut down your whole combo. Uh, a cup of Damage Sphere for Lotus Field and maybe Nykthos. A Pit the Needle for Karn or another Planeswalker. And then last but not least, we are Gigantha deck. It is important to note when we do Border Meek Massacre, we lose Gigantha, but those matchups are not really that attrition heavy, so I think that's okay. This is Marty Sack. Let's play the league. Uh, that sounds pretty good. We're going to keep. It's got everything you could want. So, because we don't have anything to sack with Witch's Oven yet, I'll probably lit off with the Thoughtseize, disrupt our opponent a little bit, slow him down. Hell yeah, Isaac, so what were you playing, man? Opponent's on six. All right, Thoughtseize should exacerbate things for them. All right, Hidden Strings, Impulse, Sylvan Scrying. We could take... Some Scrying and Impulse are both very good at finding the thing. I think we just hit them with their mana with Hidden Strings, so we're just going to take Hidden Strings. Hidden Strings is usually the card that wins the game, or it gives enough mana to win the game. We could take a Merge and Ultimatum, but I think that that's bad because they just have a bunch of card draw and payoffs and stuff. Um, this also is probably a pretty bad matchup, so we're going to maybe get a little desperate here when it comes to casting things. Uh, we'll just play Witch's Oven, Tap Taker Foundry. You played in a C75 from the PT? He was playing the uh, Is It Creativity, right? That's the one that their team played, I think. All right, they're going to impulse over Sylvan Scrying. That means they've already drawn the Lotus Field, and they're going to impulse for the for something else. Pretty sure that's what that means. 
Otherwise, they would just go get Lotus Field almost every time. Go and play Fable. We'll pitch the uh, Fatal Push. Maybe something else. I might Daily Dispute Sack Witches of it. I'm not sure yet. Depends on what we draw off the Fable. Or they have Impulse to find the other piece. Yeah, I guess they can Impulse first so they have more info. And then they can Scrying for whatever piece they're missing. Yeah, yeah, good call. All right, so we know they have a Merge and Ultimatum. But they need uh, a good bit more mana before they can cast a Merge and Ultimatum. We can also draw our other Thoughtseize. We have a lot of sideboard cards for this matchup as well. We'll pitch push. I think I'm going to pitch, pitch the other Fable, maybe? Because I kind of want to play Showdown. But maybe, maybe we don't play Showdown. I kind of want to play Showdown, though. Showdown sounds like fun. Plus, if we hit a land on it, we can play it. All right, we found two lands, three lands, and a Witch's Oven. All right, so let's go Caves of Coilos, Witch's Oven. Here we go. Hey. All right. Well, they found Vizier. If they go for a Thespian Stage, they can copy, but they need another Hidden Strings plus Thespian Stage to potentially kill this turn, which leaves me the ability to Thought Season, potentially. Is there any reason to Thought Season before Oven? I don't think so. I mean, there's a small chance I die this turn, but it's pretty, it's very small. Um, and I think just like playing anything is fine. We could have, I, I think maybe playing nothing might be okay too, right? Because even if we, uh, like next turn when we attack with the goblin, we get to go Fable, Thoughtseize, plus Witch's Oven. But now if I draw a one mana thing, I can do that instead too, so. I feel like maybe I should have pitched a Fable over a Deadly Dispute. Well, they found the Thespian Stage. We'll see if I'm dead. All right, well, we're probably going to die because we can't kill the Hope Tender. Uh, let's put a counter on the Goblin, I guess. Uh, let's have Hidden Strings. Okay, so now we just take Ultimatum, I think. They have, I think we're dead no matter what we do. Let's see, if we take Hidden Strings, they can just use Hope Tender next turn. I think we're just dead. I, I don't think that there's a way out because the Hope Tender is going to generate a ton of mana. We don't have an Edict for it. <laughs> yeah, what slows them down the most? Maybe taking the Hidden Strings or the, probably the Emerging Ultimatum. All right, let's go Fable counter. So they can uh, Hidden Strings and then Balagad and then Cast. All right, let's just concede. All right, let's bring in the Duress, the Thoughtseize, the Pithy Needle, the Damping Spheres, and go Blanks. And we'll cut all the removal, Flames, Fatal Push, Pride of Oblivion. And what else? Cut one more. I don't want to cut an oven. Drew three oven that round didn't do anything. All right, we'll keep this in. Got all our colors. We got some pressure and a duress. We'll start with a duress. 
and play Harvester on two. The Harvesters are great because they just act as an answer to creatures while also being pressure. That's one of the reasons why they're so good. So Atraxa, so they have Atraxa and a bunch of random shit and a Hope Tender, which we can kill. The Terra Center doesn't bother me too much. I think I'm just going to take the Impulse to slow them down. But they already have the Lotus Field, so I don't know that it's necessary. I think I'll take Terra Center, actually. Do I need to leave in some Fatal Pushes just because of Hope Tinder? If they're just going to keep Hope Tinder in the deck? Uh, they can trade if I attack, so I think... Okay, I'm just going to kill it. That's fine. We'll play another Harvester and a Tap Godless. That way, when they play Damage Sphere, we can just... Or when they play Lotus, we'll just play Damage Sphere and kind of shut them down. Taking Terra Sunder also protects us too, which is nice. They're going to be incentivized here to main phase the impulse before they play the Lotus Field, so they'll have less information about finding a piece of protection. Has Matthew, thanks for the follow up. Appreciate you. They played Thespian Stage instead. Okay, so they're stream sniping probably. Uh, we'll just play Showdown. All right, next turn we can play a bunch of spells. We'll play two duress, or two discard spells, an unlucky witness in an oven, probably. They need a Banjaganta, so we can try Hanger back in this. Why didn't they cop? Uh, I don't understand what's happening. All right, I'm going to Thought Seize. Too poor Traxa. There's no way. I don't understand how that they would make that decision. Instead of just double copying, they have to be stream sniping, right? All right, whatever. Time so need green for Beseju. Yeah, no shit. There's no fucking way they're not stream sniping. That's so funny. <laughs> Imagine stream sniping and getting destroyed anyway. That's funny. All right, do we want the fatal pushes if they're gonna leave in the hope tenders? I really don't want to just like lose the hope tender. Maybe cut a couple ovens. I already trimmed one. I don't hate it though. He's waiting for me to sideboard for before they sideboard? Probably. They're probably gonna cut the hope tenders now that I have the two fatal push in my deck. That's okay. I'll just discard them. Alright, so I can turn one uh Thoughtseize or I can turn one Pith and on Thespian stage. Points on five. Good news. Four, even better news. All right, we can still lose, though. We got to keep our nose clean. I think I'm going to Thought Seize, keep them off of something early. But maybe, maybe not. That's Thought Seize. Uh, I'm going to go Witch's Oven and Pithy Needle, and I'm going to name Thespian Stage. All 
I'll probably Fable next turn. <laughs> oh, hey, hey, where are you going? Keep this hand. It's a little weird, but could could get there. All the Storm Giants could be any number of blue decks. Uh, I don't really want my creature to get exiled, so we're going to play Witch's Oven. If we get Spell Pierce, that's okay. I hate playing Culture Familiar and just having it get exiled. Yo! Paladin, thanks for the follow. See if this gets countered. Need a Besaidu and damping? Maybe needling Besaidu is correct. That's a good call. Temporary lockdown. Well, that's a freaking bummer. We can deal with it, but not yet. Uh, we're going to lose anyway, so we might as well... I don't mind putting into the graveyard because we have the right of oblivion for that thing if we draw something. Let's see. We need to go... Red unlucky. This is one of the reasons why I think Rite of Oblivion is good, right? Just lets you do cool stuff like this. All right, so next turn we can choose to play the Thoughtseize. Certify Banger. I actually, I really like the song. I don't I don't really like Harry Styles that much. But uh I mean if you put enough words on the wall or whatever, like you're just gonna get me. If you get them in the right order, you know. You have to cast them that turn until your next in step. Oh, I couldn't I thought I could wait a turn. That sucks. You know, it's not the same as it was, as it was. All right, we're just going to brain and drain on my guess with old Cauldron Familiar. Who can beat Familiar Oven? Yeah, no one, no one. That's who. In this world, it's just us. I don't think I'm going to main phase the deadly disputes. I think having the creature in play might actually be okay. Just an extra damage. They're just not casting anything. This is genius for me. Love it. They're just going to die with four absorbs in hand or whatever. Zori Charm. Yes. Zori Charm's fine. Mm hmm. <laughs> All right. Untap. Time to attack. See if we get our wreckage settled. You gotta do something eventually. Okay. If they're not doing nothing, I ain't doing nothing, you know? Cycle integrated farmland, that's fine. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, cat oven, baby. 
All right, let's get some of these removal spells out. I'll keep the rights, bring in the vanishing, the duress, and the thought seizes. I don't love the go blanks. The needles may be okay. I forgot I had Gigantha. I should have bought Gigantha at some point. The Immortal Cat. Yeah, I think they'll never die. Okay, maybe try Mayhem Devil. The Mayhem Devil is not that terrifying for our opponents. All right, let's try him. Reveal the Jackman. I gotta, I gotta move him over here because I forgot last game. Every time I forget, I gotta give myself like ten lashes or whatever. They chose to draw. Am I playing? Is this Giam? Is this Giam? Every time you forget, Chad gets 100 channel points. I cannot give out channel points, unfortunately, but that's not a bad idea. I don't think I'm going to get Spell Pierce or anything, so I will play my Thoughtseize and Tab Sacred Foundry this turn, I think. You really like the White Splash? So far, it seemed pretty good. I feel like trimming some of the core of the deck might be wonky or whatever, but so far, it didn't look bad. What's well, so, uh, Better graveyard haste, sideboard relic of progenitus or unlicensed hearse. It really depends on the deck. Honestly, it really depends on the deck. If you're talking about Pioneer, I don't even know if oh they do have spell pierce. Wow. I was not expecting spell pierce. That's fine. That means they're probably not countering Fable. Or at least they're not counting it for one mana. Maybe I play around a two mana counter spell and play Mayhem Devil. We'll attack. Maybe get some more info if they Zori's charm or something. I'm going to go for a high subside, I think. I'm going to play Fable and hope they don't have Div uh, Vito. Hope they burn their Spell Pierce prematurely-ish sensor. Mm. Well, no matter what we played, it was getting censored. My hand's not bad, so Fable getting countered is not that big of a deal. Whatever I played was going to get countered. So, All right, so we'll play both of these. I don't have a planes in my deck, so I'm gonna play Bright Climb on white so we can't get taken off of white. Is the Sodom's listed as our Torres? Russ, so like some decks want Relic of Genesis because they can tutor it up with like Saga or whatever, right? Some decks want Hearse because they have creatures so they can crew and actually attack with it. I don't know which one's better in a vacuum. I would imagine that Relic of Genesis is probably best in a vacuum. But I really like Unlicensed Hearse. All right, so we're going to attack. We're going to Thought Seize and then we're going to buy Jackman. Uh, well, so far we've uh, beat Lotus Field, which is impressive to me considering I was uh, pretty sure we were going to lose. And now we're 1-0 against Blue Eye Control, which I think is par for the course as long as you have the answers for temporary lockdown. They had lockdown early for our double cat oven, but we had the Ride of Oblivion last game. We're able to easily come back and win. Oh, for sure, Spunky. That Lotus was definitely sniping. I think the Lotus is sniping too, but that's none of my business. We'll take Teveri because we have Vanishing Verse for lockdown. The Pierce is not going to be an issue. The Shark Typhoon is whatever. Sick little puppy, thanks for the tier one sub. Uh, no men, thanks for the follow. Appreciate y'all. Welcome to Todd Squad. Yeah. Shark Typhoon's a little scary, but I think the fairy is more scary. Would the Quiznos commercial be more brain melting for somebody 100 years in the past or 100 years in the future? Uh, 100 years in the past, I feel like, is nothing, right? They would, they would see it and be like, oh, that's just normal. Every day of my life's a nightmare, you know? Look at this funny little guy. They had puppets back then, right? 
I think 100 years in the future, they're going to look back and see the Quiznos rats and be like, ah, this is late stage capitalism at its finest, right? I will say go when they go for uh field, we'll go for the vanishing verse on the lockdown, I think. Yeah, me too, Seth. It was a little weird. I think maybe they sideboard two pierce or something. Two mana shark typhoon, okay. All right, we're gonna go in vanishing verse the lockdown. While they're tapped out. The moose is loose. You better find an answer quick. The Jagman's coming for you. The Jagman is coming for you. All right, thoughts is you. The Emperor. Okay. All right, so their hand is two make does appear and a spell pierce. Uh, we'll just take the spell pierce. We'll uh, right of oblivion the wandering emperor. We'll play blood tithe harvester. I'll make a two two. I'm sure. We'll attack for five. They'll probably chump with the samurai. So their hand is just two make disappear. Nothing too scary. They decide to take it. So next turn, I guess we can ride of oblivion a token. I'm going to target the shark token. We'll see what happens. We'll attack, force a chump. Nice. Top deck, bro. Wow. That's the fucking top deck if I've ever seen one, man. All right, so we'll go. Actually, we'll just wait till end step. We'll let this happen. We'll vanishing verse the Avison so nothing bad happens to us. And we can play the oven. So they have two make disappear. God damn, that's so brutal. They want to counter unless we pay four. We can't. That's okay. They'll lose the samurai. What's up, dumb bag? Wonder if I should have sacked Witch's Oven instead. Probably not. All right, no pay, no pay. Play Hive, they'll probably blow it up EOT. We do have a land left. But we're basically out of juice. We need to draw a showdown or something. 
Even something like uh, Cauldron Familiar would be pretty good. I say Drew Hall as their card for turn. Cauldron Familiar is a good one. I will wait till end step. We'll sack the cauldron. Easy. Two. Two sacred foundry, huh? I don't think I can keep this hand. I'm a mole. All right, this hand's a little bit better. Back one of our four lands. We only need the three. At least for now. All right, Mountain could be a good sign for us. I'm probably going to EOT Deadly Disputes. What's up, Moppy? You doing pretty good, man. How are you? All right, pass on the turn two. We're going to go ahead and deadly dispute, I think. We can find ways to get the culture familiar back later. Marty builds looking nice. Yeah, so far, so good, honestly. All right, we'll play this on red. I'm going to go for Fable. I only like playing Mayhem Devil when I have a couple things to sack already. And, and if I don't have anything else to do. Spilt Lotus Field and Pioneer. Nice. Who's list are you using? Nathan Stewer? Fire Impulse and Mountain Mountain deck. I guess this is like a chunky red. Fable. Okay. All right, we'll discard two for sure. Probably keep Battlefield Forge. All right, we'll play Showdown. They get like a full turn of doing stuff. But then next turn we can play like Mayhem, play a bunch of shit. All right. We'll say go. Probably should use a treasure token to play showdown. Looks like creativity. Do you think it's mono red creativity? Maybe it's mono red creativity attracts. Uh, I didn't even think about that. I've never seen that, so that's not something that was even on my radar. Really, could be though. Discard tokens on only. All right. That would make sense with the fire impulse, to be honest. It's also possible they're blurred creativity and just color screwed. Yeah. Love to be correct. Nice. Yeah, the fire impulse threw me off. The double mountain is what really threw me off, though. Cool badge you got for subscribing again. Nice. Little lightning bolt one. Another fable. Okay. I kind of need to draw a creature, to be honest. Oh, I guess I can sack fable. All right, we'll play Mayhem Double. play witch's oven put a counter on the devil see if this resolves it does we'll play godless shrine sack the reflection deal one here
attack this, get back target right here. And then uh, we'll go this triggers. We'll go black. Deal one here. White. Right of Oblivion this. Sack here. Uh, put a counter here and deal damage here. Pretty good turn, pretty good turn. Man, that was a hell of a drag. Yeah, it's freaking crazy. Oh, Sasamoto, I didn't even think about that. That's a good call. Good call. Yeah, this is my first time playing with this build. And it's also, I don't play sack decks very often. I've been really into like Tyvar sack last couple days or like last week or whatever but um yeah definitely missing some stuff all right so now they discard steam vents all right so this showdown is gonna go away we get a new showdown maybe All right, so they're going to do it for one. Are they playing the Atraxa build? If they're playing the Atraxa build, this is pretty scary, honestly. Um, well, I don't have a, a way to kill it, so we'll just deal one to them. If they hit Xenagos, great. If not, they hit this, so we can exile it, though. So that's fine with me. All right, and we'll just play uh, Hive Tapped here, probably. Extra food would have killed the Mutual. No, extra food was right. That That's a good idea. Just having one less counter on it, I think, is fine. I just forgot that that was even a thing on the Witch's Oven. Right's looking great. Yeah, so far, Ride of Oblivion looks awesome. All right, so the Dress is for sure. Thought Seize for sure. Vanishing verse, maybe. Go blank, maybe. Claims gone. The graveyard's not that big of a deal, so I don't think go blank's that fine or that bad. Vanishing verse, I guess it's okay. It can uh, hit the worm at instant speed. They're probably gonna keep the combo in for this matchup. Yeah, they have to. They I don't think they can beat my deck in a fair battle. Uh we have the right and two discard spells. I'm gonna keep. And then we'll either discard the right to the fable, or if we find white mana, we'll discard lands. I'm gonna lead with the rest because I think it might get spell pierced. And Thoughtseize can maybe take a cyborg creature if they have it. Bunch of removal. All right, this is a fine situation to be in. Next turn, I'll probably still play Blood Tithe Harvester just to trade resources. All right, spike field so we know three of their four. All right, we'll go ahead and play Fable. Hope it doesn't get countered. If they kill my Fable token, I don't think that's a big deal. Next turn, we can pitch two things. We can deadly dispute a blood token, thought seize. I'll probably discard Blight Step. 
I feel like they maybe I guess they wanted to hit their fourth land drop for Shivan Reef. Thought Seize this turn is gonna be pretty good though. Probably. Showdown. Okay, so we definitely gotta discard Blight Up. I think I'm gonna discard Riot as well. Let's Thought Seize. All right, so they're gonna discard probably Fire Prophecy. Spell Pierce in two lands. All right, well, we can just die off the top, so that's pretty scary. Let's go for a Dully Dispute on the Blood. And uh, I'll Shock and play Witch's Oven. Next turn, we can use the Treasure to play Showdown. I might Thought Seize first in case they drew Spell Pierce for turn. Uh, I'm just gonna cast it. All right, familiar witness. So we can wait till next turn and then just get a bunch of counters on the reflection. I think I can. I'm gonna play the cauldron familiar this turn. I think I'm gonna play everything this turn. Actually, I'm gonna play battlefield. I'm gonna play witness. We're missing out on counters, but I can maybe find something off of unlucky witness. That could save me, like a vanishing verse or whatever. All right, Sokin's on was the draw. That's okay. What's up, Digital? Has there been a shit ton of creativity today in the queue? This is the first one so far. All right, in a turn, we'll sack Cauldron. That's fine. That means they're not hitting my kitty. And we know that that's the card they drew. So we'll go ahead and bring back the familiar. In case you want to attack. All right, so we can play this land. That's the land that's going away. Let's play Showdown. Put a counter on Reflection. A bunch of lands in Dispute. Klein, thanks for the follow. Bunch of these lands in her taps. Sokin's on does not. All right, let's attack. I guess we should have played the culture familiar first before. All right, we're going to go ahead and uh, play the culture familiar so we can get the drain going. And then hope we don't die. But, uh, let's see, courtyard's going away, but we still have two lanes we can play. Events tapped. All righty. They don't drew something that can bounce or kill the reflection. That's kind of bad, I guess. Odawara. Okay. All right. No cards in hand. Let's go and get the cauldron back.
All right, so we got two showdown triggers. Every spell is a bunch of counters. So let's go. Hive is a land we can play. We might be able to kill this turn. Everything is an extra counter. Or two extra counters, excuse me. We're very close to killing if we're not actually killing. We're going to go Oblivion on the Spirit token to make sure we can't get blocked this turn. I'm going to sack the Fable. No, let's sack the Showdown. All right, so five, six, seven, eight, nine. I guess we don't do anything else. We just tack for five. Let's see, are we threatening lethal next turn if we don't do this? I guess we just do it. It just threatens lethal over two turns. They have to, it just makes it so they have literally the one turn to draw the thing, right? All right, so they have to have it this turn or they're dead. Even if they draw an answer to one of our creatures, we can probably get them with Cadavan stuff. Easy. Um, we're going to keep, but I'm not in love with this hand. I'm mostly keeping it because Blood Tithe Harvester can uh, discard an extra land later. All right. Uh, founding the third path. Do, are they casting this or reanimating this chat? They have Charter Course. I guess they're probably playing... Uh, the creature? What's the creature called? Oh, man. The uh, the one that exiles your graveyard, the Delve one? Soul Flare? It's probably Soul Flare. Uh, so I should probably take Charter Course, I guess. Well, whatever I play is getting pushed. Let's go ahead and get Harvester down, use our mana. It's going to get pushed. That's okay. What's up, Crate? You want to talk about pre martin if possible? Not here, man. I don't know anything about that shit. You're in the wrong place, my man. But I know Caleb Durward was playing it in real life the other day and was praising it. Oh, you're good. I just don't know shit about it, so. So I drew another charter course. That's pretty lucky. I don't think I'm going to win this game, chat. Although, this doesn't have hexproof, so we actually can technically eat it with two different cards. The Soul Flayer, that is. I guess next turn we'll blood, discard a land, try to find some shells to play. What's up, Empty? Yeah, this is Autumn's list from the Pro Tour. She won the PTQ on Sunday. Uh, I guess... Let's see, they have Fatal Push, so we can just Mayhem Devil. I'm going to probably Shock and play Cauldron Familiar. They want to push the Cauldron Familiar. That's perfectly all right with me. All right, so they're founding a third path on chart of course again. This is okay. This is all fine. They sacked the thing. 
I did not know the saga sacrifice. That's funny. Mayhem Devil is even better than everyone thinks. <laughs> please, please, please don't fail to push my culture familiar, please. Oh, yeah, yeah, duh. Duh. Bye, Jagman. All right, so we can eat a, a Zapalta? All right, all right. I feel like Shield is Soul Flare can basically never be a deck because, especially now that Shieldred's Edict exists, you know, even if it is good, it won't be good after like a week. Monster Demon 7,000. Hold on, I have something for this. Oh. You like that one? You got jump scared? No. You're not supposed to get jump scared. No! I had the thing for it too, man. I just got greedy. I wanted to play the land. I've been getting spell pierce a bunch today. That sucks. Uh, yeah, absolutely, Boris Bosch. Just not today. I kind of want to move on to uh, different builds or whatever. And, uh, like, you know, I want to try out, like, some more decks. I played Tyvar basically all last week. I did write a sideboard guide on it. If, uh, if you missed it, Boris, it's on my Patreon. I'll link you to it real quick. So now they're delving, chat. They're delving. They're delving. It has hexproof now, thanks to stripped, striped river winder. Oh, they're digging through time instead. Okay. Well, we certainly aren't going to win if they're digging. Because their thing's going to get lifelink, right? Flying double strike, video trample, indestructible. I guess it's not lifelink. Maybe we have a shot because there's no lifelink. No, if you're looking for a romance song. They didn't do it, chat. Holy shit. All right, we'll exile the striped river wonder, probably. Unless they have another push. They do have another push. Man, I just got a lot of pushes. This is better that than being dead. Uh, Ginger, I think it's great in Rakdos builds. Uh, I've, I haven't played a ton of it myself, but I was very scared of it. My opponent played one on turn one the other day. I was like, oh, that's interesting. And then by turn three, I was like, oh, this card's actually kind of messed up. It's such a huge burst of damage for such a small amount of mana. All right, so here it comes. Here comes the guy. Does it have Vigilance as well? Yes, it does have Vigilance as well. All right, so it doesn't have haste, and it doesn't have lifelink. So anything we draw here could be pretty good. It has hex proof. All right, we can figure this out. I can sack unlucky witness, target cauldron familiar, and then see what we flip off a witness, and I might be able to find something to kill. So we'll go target this. Black. White. Cancel. White. Black. Target this. 
sack this. Kill one here. Reveal. Daily dispute. GG. Easy. Is that good or did I figure it out? Figured it out? Do you see mine splice with the new draw card Safari? Uh, I saw the standard build bolt. You probably saw me retweet it. I uh I actually quite like that Teferi. I haven't played it any in Pioneer though. Okay, so we want a bunch of duresses and thought seizes and vanishing verses and go blanks. Uh, I think the card Fatal Push is bad. I think the card Claim the Firstborn is bad. Maybe Duress is bad. I guess I could Milk Masker because X equals 4 is not bad. I lose Jagman if I do that. I guess it can save me. I, I might as well, right? Maybe I should not. Man, I, I don't know if I can cut unlucky wins. I'm like pretty low on food as it is. I'm going to cut one more of each. Ah, dang. Oh, well. All right, so we don't have the unluckies in our deck. But we have Witch Oven Thoughtseize. We'll keep for sure. Run the draw. All right, they're on six. This looks 100% legal and explore unless you're missing something. Yeah, I don't know. I haven't checked. But it's always good to know. All right, so I think they probably have Spell Pierce, but I'm going to play Cauldron Familiar. Next turn, I'll go Oven. They'll probably counter. I'll go Thoughtseize. Maybe the other way. All right, maybe they don't have it. Maybe they're just going for the gaze. And then we can recess next turn. All right, they benched the ledgerman. They may might have another ledgerman. Maybe that's why they're doing that. We'll probably just uh, eat it with Rite of Oblivion. While they're tapped out, Thought sees me, Tilt. All right, what are you going to take? It took him my oven. If they have Pierce, I want them to burn it, I guess. Gaze is fine. Thought that they were going to Pierce. I was going to be a little sad. Maybe they have no cards left in hand. That would be brutal. They have a, a bunch of other world of Gaze to filter draw through the next few turns. They're basically just going to be looking for Soul Flare. And I'm hoping that I'm taking one out of their hand. Put a Gifted Aetherborn into the graveyard. All right, Charter Course. We already played a land. Here you go. Takanuma versus the world. Maybe the whole Takanuma. Drew Charter Course. Okay. This card striped Riverwinder. One card in hand. All right, they're probably going to take Mayhem Double. We're both basically stripped down to our bare bones. They're at 12, though. All right. Uh, and also, if we find a way to exile the Stripped Riverwinder, their thing won't have Hexproof. We also don't have Gigantha to buy, just FY. Hey, Tom, what do you think of adding Bolt Citadel to your Tyvar Priest deck? I think it makes um, Collective Company and Tyvar a lot worse. Jim Davis with a raid. Ooh, that's a big raid. Thanks for the big raid, Jim. Yo. 
Were you at the Pro Tour? Were you qualified? I guess I don't even know. Thanks for the follow, Marco. Just played my Tyvar deck in a suite? Hell yeah. Glad you liked it. It's Mog Monday, though. What happened to the Mogs? Ah, I see Sunset. I see. Cheers, Smurl. How's it going? Thanks for three months. Oh, cool, cool, cool. Nice hit for the huge raid, Jim. Glad to have you in your community. Come and hang out. Today we're playing Autumn Lily's uh, Mardu Sack deck. She won the Sunday PTQ. And it was the it was a killer's row. Killer's row of PTQs. I'm glad you like the Tyvar deck. One of my patrons actually won a PTQ as well. Or RCQ. Uh, you can find the cyborg guide on my Patreon if you're interested. Little cyborg guide in there. All right, all right, all right. I'm running out of patience here, chat. Maybe these rides aren't very good. They're out of stuff too, though, but maybe they found it last turn. They didn't. All right, let's keep on jamming, I guess. We both just kind of like thought seize each other into oblivion. Their graveyard is huge because they milled a bunch. Not any, any other reason, really. See you later, Jim. Have a good one, man. One one beats for the win. Don't count them out yet. Don't count them out yet. Well, they drew a double spell because they're going into the super tank. All right, Death Touch, Double Strike, Flying, Hexproof, Indestructible, Lifelink, Trample, Vigilance. What gave it Lifelink? Does this thing have Lifelink? Oh, Gift of Etherborn. All right, so this has Double Strike also. So you win. Whatever, man. So dumb. I love, love, love magic, chat. I love magic. Magic's so cool and fun. One card combo deck. Fabio, thanks for the follow. Yeah, people have been trying to play Soul Flare off and on for like four years or whatever. And every time they do, it's just like, I don't know, man. I've never seen anybody like win a tournament with it. And I play against it not regularly, but like semi regularly. Just don't get it. Well, I literally said one card combo, Mr. Bud Dingles. I don't know if you were paying attention. Otherworldly gates. The problem is it folds the counter spells. It's a hard thing to say when they have a bunch of thought seasons in their deck. And more so folds to just like graveyard removal or whatever, I guess. Edicts, Wrath Effects. Like, they don't always have all the modes or whatever on their card is the big thing for them. Mayhem. Is this Autumn's List? Yes, it is, RV. All right, here comes a 4-4 four, four, Flying Double Strike Vigilance Trample Indestructible. I hope. And I hope I draw white mana. Can I draw white mana, please? I'm going to get fucking spell pierced. All right, let's go dispute, sack this, and then see if they... I really hope that they counter this. Oh, it has Hexproof. Never mind. It doesn't matter. Great. Love Hexproof, man. It's great. It's a great mechanic. I absolutely adore it. 
At least it doesn't have lifelink. Nice, empty. Oh, hell yeah, Harvey. That's cool. I really like Autumn a bunch. We'll take eight. I think Hexproof might be my least favorite magic ability, honestly. It's like, okay, cool. I can't touch your thing. Is it? Is it just a little guy? No. It's a huge guy. I don't want to debate the merits of magic terminology, please. A one card combo gets the point across, right? Your whole deck center centers around casting one card. You have some enablers or whatever, so it's not technically just one card's worth of work. But that's the gist. Shroud was a more balanced mechanic. Yeah, Shroud and Hexproof were basically the same in this juncture, though. Or at this point, though. Or in this situation, rather. I guess we'll play Showdown. I don't know, man. Guy saying Trap made you hate Hexproof? Aw. Uh, what are we playing? Is it just a land? I guess it's just a land. We can't really attack. I got, I don't really have anything to do. This sucks. We're just dead, I think. Right, you win. I'm just going to quit. All right, you win, you win, you win, you win, you win, you win. Everyone knows Edicts kill Soul Flare. Edicts are pretty dog shit against the rest of the format, though, which sucks. So, that's why Soul Flare can exist. I don't know if it's good, but that's why it can exist. Uh, we're going to put back Mam Devil, oddly. My hand's, like, pretty low to the ground. Interactive, disruptive. I don't really have an engine thing for it yet. All right, last match with the deck is going to be against Blue Eye Control again. I think we don't worry too much about the counter spells and we just take the card draw. Well, Duke of York, I would simply draw the card I need to win every time if I was a genius. Hearts are going to coast easy. Yeah. This is going to be good. If they ever tap out, we can deadly dispute the blood token and draw two. If they tap out to kill this uh, before attacks, we can play Fable, which will be nice. All right, I think I'll EOT Deli Dispute as a bait so that we can resolve the Fable. I'm pretty sure they're going to counter it, but if they don't, that's also good. They're stuck on mana, so I'm pretty sure they're going to make this appear. And now we get to stick Fable. We'll discard Push probably to the discard ability. I'm going to hold the Blight Step also and discard that, since we need white mana or no more lands at all, really. They found Glacial. All right, we'll discard these two. We'll just buy Gigantha. Hope I don't draw a mountain. They found another Glacial Fortress, but it's tapped. The moment they tap out for a Wrath Effect, I'll play Gigantha. But we drew Hive as well. We can save that until later, I guess. They're killing this now, okay.
We can next turn play Gigantha and give it haste. I think I'm gonna I kind of want to play another fable so three of their five cards are veto make the spear and absorb if they wrath we go gigantha attack if they do something to that we have hive oh we can't give the haste to the gigantha huh we can't give it to the gigantha All right, we'll just tuck in for a slightly longer game, I guess. We have the Hive. We have these. We can go activate Hive, attack. They go blow up the Hive, take four, go to three. We could haste Reflection there. Yeah, but we could have. I didn't really want to burn any more resources. Now we can activate Delusion attack. I think I'd rather just get Giganta down. All right, so they can field a ruin. They cannot field a ruin plus play the thing. So let's activate this. We still have a mountain left, so we can still play Fable. So we can play Fable plus Claim. They can counter, I guess. I don't want to let them use Absorb Mana here, so we're just going to attack. This will put them to two. Next turn, we'll play Fable as a bait. If they counter, great. If they don't counter, we'll give it haste. And then we'll have two attackers versus just all. We might just attack. They might just concede, honestly. It's gonna attack. We can play stuff post combat. Just force them to have the answer for this, I guess. Behold's fine. All right, if they go for a removal spell on the Gigantha, we can play Mayhem plus Fable. They put two on bottom, so they're digging. Cycle sensor. It'll have to be March plus pitch hands. Three cards. All right. Let's get some of these dog shitty cards out of here. I don't think I've cast claimed the firstborn yet, chat. We definitely want duress and the thought seizes. Kind of like the needle for the planeswalkers. There's not a whole lot of monocolored targets for vanishing verse. Not a whole lot for Ride of Oblivion either, but they do have planeswalkers and lockdown. I guess I want them just because they have lockdown. Mam's lethal with two treasures. Yeah, they had absorbed, so I'm just kind of waiting for them to tap out. But yeah, we we would have found it if they killed our guy. Uh, I think we got to mull this one. I will keep this one, but we need red. I'm gonna put back Mam double. I'll lead with Cauldron just to get pressure down. Every point matters. Sealed, okay. Well, still not red. It's a downside of uh, playing three colors. Sometimes you get color screwed. 
We'll go for Thoughtseize. I'm gonna play around Sensor. I can't play around Make Disappear, but I'll play around Sensor. Remember Deluge or Teferi? I'll take the Teferi. Deluge can find specific stuff. The game's gonna go on quite a while because my hand's not very good. And so we'll just take the card that I think easily wins them the long game because of how weak my hand is. Although I'm hoping to draw Red Source here. Red Source would be super good. Tax keys. By Jugman. <clears throat> All right, no plays from them. Still haven't played their Field of Ruin, interestingly enough. So here comes Deluge time. Play main phase, that way they can't deluge if they uh, want to counter it. Next time we'll play Jegman. We're not vulnerable to the field because we do have a mountain. Am I dumb? Why don't they play the field? We're going to play Jagman, I think. Now they can deluge into Sweeper. The verdict is in. Red Source lets me play two spells. What Fable up? It doesn't get vetoed. All right, Fable online. A flap since the token. I'll take it. I'll take it. So we know they still have Field of Ruin in hand. They have two other cards I don't know about. Castle Ardenvale. We can probably keep that in check. We're we'll going to draw cards so our Fable's a little bit stronger. I'm going to pitch at least one right. All right. And that's another red source. I think I'm going to pitch both rights. Play Mayhem, play Blood Tithe probably too. What's up, Silverback? Welcome to the channel. I'm Tandy. Glad to have you. Discarding two rights and drawing two land doesn't feel so good. But luckily they have flashback. All right, here comes the flashback on the Deluge. Uh, maybe the Go Blinks are okay. I don't really know what to cut, though, for them. Where else are you supposed to cook noodles except on the stove? Come on. Come on, young thug.
Playing against Blue White, huh? Let's see. So this this league we played against exactly zero matchups where we could claim the firstborn something. Lotus Field, Blue White, Blue White, Blue Red Creativity, and uh, what's its face? Can't remember the name of it. Soul Flare. All right, they draw a card. That's fine. All right, I'm going to go ahead and use my blood token, I guess. We're going to try to chop down the Teferi. We could go for a Rite of Oblivion on it. It's more so that I'm trying to cover as many angles as possible. All right, we can play everything. So let's go duress. We can go daily dispute and right. Let's duress first. See what's up. Spooky, thanks for the follow as well. Uh, so settle. So we take settle, and then we actually no, we just take absorb, and then we blow up to fairy. Yeah, that's fine. You ever use claim to give your things haste? Yeah, we uh we had the option to do that uh last game. We didn't do it though, but we did have the option. All right, let's shock. I'm gonna attack when they go for Wandering Emperor. I'll uh if they go minus, great. If they go trade, that's fine too. And we'll kill the Wandering Emperor as well. So now it's Settle the Wreckage, Temporary Lockdown, Howled Fountain versus Wandering em or Mayhem Devil and some lands. Now we even have Thoughtseize next turn. Pretty good turn, if you ask me. Like walking the dog, Davian. All right, we'll clear the way. We know we have a hit even if they have counter spell. We'll take settle, probably. Veto. Okay, that's fine. Break you out. All right, Needle, Witch's Oven, Battlefield Forge, Black Leaves. All right, let's start with Needle. See if they make a token in response. All right, let's go Castle, Arden Van. Black leave. We'll say go. So they're gonna pop my lands. We'll deal them one. That's fine. We have a swamp or a mountain. Excuse me. All right, so this is going to come down. We can't stop it. We're going to make a white. We're going to deal one. <clears throat> All right, let's go. They can still settle the wreckage. Let's go Witch's Oven. We'll put a counter on this. If they have absorbed, they might absorb this. Maybe not, though. We 
We could also go Ride of Oblivion sacking the oven. We're still going to name, let's see, the lockdown's gone. So let's just settle the wreckage in an unknown. I guess we can still just name Castle Ardenville. We'll just say go, I guess. If they ever kill my ma'am devil, we can make two food out of it and deal them with damage. Mayhem Devil. Belly Dispute. That's a good draw. Uh, let's sack a Witch's Oven. Put a counter here. Deal damage to face. All right, let's go sack the treasure. Yeah, fewer creatures does hurt a little bit in this matchup, but I mean, we, we've already beaten it once today and it looks like we're about to beat it again. All right, let's take their settle and see what their other card is. This is lethal if their last card is irrelevant. All right, Settle doesn't do anything. All right, Planes. Okay, so we go Attack. GG. That's a Thick Devil? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. You're locked down, bro. That sucks. It really sucks, man. All right, so let's target the oven, sack the oven. Yeah. The one to you. GG. All right. So we went four and one. Um, the deck felt a little light on threats. Obviously, claiming the firstborn is one of the best reasons to play a deck like this. But if you don't have targets for claim the firstborn, this build is honestly kind of weak. You know, we played against five decks where claim the firstborn was not that good. And so we signed out every time. But I think that there are plenty of top tier decks in the format that claim the firstborn is excellent against. And I do want it in the deck still, obviously. Um, with that said, the white splash, I think, was pretty good. Right of Oblivion answered some really different stuff um, that might not have been able to get answered. But I think Showdown of the Skulls is the one that really uh, was the highlight. Um, a big draw spell, you know, for four mana is exactly something that this type of deck wants. With so many cheap cards, we're able to turn, you know, the smallest of creature into something formidable with the plus one plus one counter ability. Um, I mean, there's one game we had like a 9-9 Cauldron Familiar. That was pretty good. Uh, the one thing that I don't love is, is uh, the discard spells in the main deck. I know that they were great in this league. But I think that the re like there's a reason why we only have two thought seas and two fatal push, right? It's because it's hard to balance threats, engine, disruption, and we need to have like a healthy balance of all those things in order for our deck to run smoothly. Um, I mean, you could see though there was multiple instances where Cauldron Familiar didn't do anything, Witches Oven didn't do anything, Mayhem Devil didn't do much, and all that is because our opponents are able to like disrupt part of our plan pretty easily but also we just don't have that much fuel for any part of the combo uh and i and i think that that is why the white is kind of stretching the deck thin but it might be worth it i mean we were able to beat blue white twice we were able to defeat lotus field once we were able to defeat um blue red creativity once but i didn't feel like any of those matchups were particularly strong for us but the card showdown of the skulls really i think pushed through a lot of strength in the the grindier matchups the cyborg felt decent i don't know about go blank i think you might rather have unlicensed hearse but it does i guess work with all the discard i just feel like it's a little too much discard and um 
I think Hurst can come in in more matchups, whereas Go Blank is pretty medium. Like it's it's only okay against like Phoenix or heavily dedicated graveyard decks. I don't know. Anyway, this has been Marty Sack from Autumn Lily. Uh, make sure to hit the like and subscribe button on your way out. Appreciate uh, Autumn for the deck. It was really fun. And uh, give it a try. This list is also 100% compatible for Explorer. So if you're an arena-only guy, uh, give it a try.